Okay, today is uh, May 6th, 2019. This is a quick update. It's about 10 p.m., a little after 10 p.m. here on the West Coast. And uh, today in Los Angeles and Southern California, we had uh, thunderstorms and lightning as this uh, mid and upper level closed low move right through uh, Southern California. We can see it there moving to the east. And we can also see uh, this is a mid and upper level uh, closed low as well. Both of these are closed lows at the mid and upper level. We can see the uh, moisture from this system streaming right towards California. But notice that the uh, vortex of this uh, mid and upper level low is completely blockaded right here. So this moisture cannot flow into that vortex. It's having to uh, divert. And also look at the bow right here. In the, in the uh, This is jet stream flow, by the way. And there's a, a bow in the jet stream right there where the transmitter is manipulating this uh, <clears throat> flow pattern. The water vapor is being re-steered away from this uh, low pressure vortex. So today, an inch of rain fell in the uh, one, one uh, foothill location in about 40 minutes, one inch of rain. So there, there was uh, lightning and thunderstorms. That's good. That's all good. We used to have uh, weather like that in the spring occasionally. Uh, so it's good to have that uh, kind of rain uh, in the spring. Uh, you know, the trees need it. Everything needs it. All right. So out here we have another low pressure system. Uh, there is rain scheduled uh, for later this week. Uh, Saturday, I believe it is. For the Southern California area, it is possible that that rain could come from this system as it slowly moves uh, east. Also, there's a storm right up here near the Aleutian Islands. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, surface analysis map. We can see that right there. This is a 984 millibar developing storm that's going to be pushed north by all this installed high pressure right here. If we go back to the uh, big map, we can see that right here. There's a area of installed high pressure, and we can see the jet stream is having to reroute around this high. This is a stationary high pressure area, and the uh, jet stream is running right into that and having to move around it. Same thing's happening here. We have a crescent of high pressure, which is blockading this vortex from all this moisture here. So we did get some rain. That's good. And uh, that's really the short update for tonight. We can see uh, once again here on the surface analysis map, we've got a trough indicated over California. We've got a lot of high pressure here. And we've got uh, low pressure down here just, uh, just east of the Hawaiian Islands. We've got two lows, actually. One's 1,008 millibar. We can see the purple occluded front right there. If we go back to the big map, we can see the manipulation occurring on this uh, upper level low pressure. You can see about half of that uh, system is missing. <clears throat> the uh, water vapor is not making a complete lap around that vortex. So we've got satellite transmitter manipulation here on this system as well as this one over here. Now, I don't have the Doppler pulled up, but currently right now there is no uh, precipitation in California to speak of. It's all been pretty much squashed out. So that rainstorm lasted about 40 minutes. It poured rain. That's good. And then the uh, spigot was turned off. Okay, so if we look at some of these other maps here, we can see the uh, pressure, sea level pressure. There's no uh, closed low at the uh, surface level here uh, over Southern California. Now down here over New Mexico, we see a low under, uh, centered right, right, right about there right in this area. Now looking at the uh, 500 millibar map, also we've got a closed low right down here at the surface level, uh, right just uh, east of the Hawaiian Islands, which is there right here. So we've got the low that may move in uh, this next week. So looking at the 500, we see the closed low out here and also right over Southern California, which brought that rain. And look at the squiggly isobars. Uh, none of this is natural. This is all indicative of atmospheric manipulation by a microwave a transmitters or it could be laser and this is affecting the amount of precipitation we get this uh, sort of activity here now looking at the 300 millibar map we see the same thing squiggly lines around this closed low and of course none of this will be shown on uh, mainstream fake news television okay getting back to the big map just uh, leave it right here and uh, try to get another update real soon. We can see this low, all this moisture is streaming right towards 
this low pressure here, but it's being redirected. And there's your proof right there. That crescent, that high pressure that's been installed, that's the artificial high pressure, which is redirecting all this moisture away from that vortex. And we can see it hooking around, trying to get back into that low pressure center. Okay, that's it.